Hi, I'm Robin Waite, author of best-selling book online business startup and in this video I'm just going to give my take on how to use Facebook for small businesses. Uh, so first of all I'm going to talk about um, the overall kind of Facebook strategy which I feel that you should be using. So um, I think really it's um, Facebook is about creating engaging content. Um, and making sure that you've got regular updates being being posted on a regular basis. What I mean by engaging content is rather than kind of just um, single text, um, lines of text entry uh, for your status updates, perhaps think about how you can maybe introduce video into your timeline um, for, your, for your business's page, how you can d use different sorts of imagery, and you can also upload files, so you can upload things like brochures and uh, documentation about your business that you feel that your customers might um, might find interesting. What you can also do is um, link to industry related news so rather than just posting things about your business post things about other people's business and uh, businesses and also things that are happening within your industry that are going to have an impact on your customers. Um, you can write um, you're probably already writing very engaging blog articles but equally make sure that you're posting um, uh, an engaging summary of that blog article onto the Facebook post. It's quite a common mistake to just literally cut and paste the link onto the, um, onto the Facebook post um, and it doesn't really tell anybody about why they should bother going to read that blog article. So put a, create a, like a, an excerpt or a summary that you can, um, whenever you blog, that you can cut and paste into any of your social media channels to get the most out of it. Also on um, uh, Facebook, there's a, there's a section now on your Facebook pages where you can, um, people can leave reviews. So social proof is huge at the moment and it's only going to continue to grow. So when somebody finds your page, they want to know whether you're trustworthy, reliable, if they haven't heard of your business before, like how many businesses have you worked with, what sort of customers have you got. Um, so encourage your customers to, to leave reviews, but equally if you've got some um, historical testimonials from your clients, it's no, there's no harm in actually posting those as status updates in your, um, on your Facebook page. Um, because it all just adds to your credibility and authority um, about your business and builds trust. Ultimately, the way to get new customers is to, is to give stuff away for free and build as much trust as you possibly can with them. Um, there's, there's something on Facebook called, um, you'll notice whenever you post something called Reach, and there's a little button which says um, Boost This Post. Um, so reach is the amount of people, so you might have a thousand people who like your page, but reach is the amount of people when you post something on that page um, that, that that post is, is reaching. Um, so you can, um, I mean Facebook, it's a bit of a misnomer really. You, yeah, you could pay to, to get your post out to more people, but if your post is engaging enough in the first place, it sh it's likely that it'll be shared, people comment against it, they will like it. Um, without the need to have to spend money on it. But equally, um, this is how Facebook makes a lot of money. So I'm a bit skeptical as to how useful the post boost button is because it's gonna cost you something to reach the audience of people who already like your page. Um, so it's a, it's a bit confusing in that matter. But if you maybe if you've got a specific targeted campaign that you're running, yeah, boost, boost the post, boost the shit out of it. Get out to as many different people as you possibly can. Use as many different techniques as you possibly can because it's all going to help build your presence on the search engine. Um, but I think if you're using it on a regular basis, just, just double check what's your return on investment on that. Um, how much business is that um, post boosting getting you? How many inquiries is it generating for you? And I bet if you ask yourself that question, it's not very many. So the benefits of using um, Facebook are that if you set up your Facebook page um, uh, correctly, it's naturally going to boost your search engine presence with Google because Google is, is, um, is testing all the different search, um, social media platforms out there. Uh, Facebook is obviously the most popular one with 1.4 billion users I think it is at the moment um, and that's still growing. Um, at some point, um, I can't imagine that we're ever going to get to 7 billion Facebook users but that would mean that um, my gran and my two-year-old daughter are going to be using it, which I think is highly unlikely. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I'm sure Facebook, they seem to come up with a solution for everything. Anyway, so, uh, so the benefits are, so it's great for um, uh, doing research into other businesses. So if you're looking into companies which you might want to work with or other local companies doing similar sorts of things to you, it can be useful for competitor research, see what, what your, com your competitors are doing out there. Um, useful for networking and, and meeting other people and people of similar interests um, who might be interested in buying your products or services. Um, once you get 30 likes on your page, you get access to something called Facebook Insights. Um, 
uh, which is really, really um, uh, helpful because it can, you can start to get a picture for which posts were particularly popular, how many you reached, um, if, you, if you're doing a campaign, how impactful that ca campaign has been, how many likes you're, you're building up and how many click-throughs you're getting to your, your website. One of the major benefits of Facebook is that it's completely free. So Facebook has spent like hundreds of billions of dollars developing this application um, for your benefit. Uh, okay, so also for their benefit, they're a business, but equally there are a lot of um, really great upsides um, to using Facebook and it's totally free, so use it. Um, the fourth tip um, is actually the downsides to Facebook. So one of the things to remember, this is the same actually for all of the social media platforms out there. When you post something, Facebook owns the rights to reuse all of your content. And equally, they, they own the rights to all of this content that you've got up there, not just the right to use it, they own it. So if Facebook closes down, all of that content is just gonna go with it. Now, Facebook isn't just gonna close down overnight, but if they decide to switch a feature off that you've been using, um, you're not going to get access to that data or um, the traffic that that is creating for your business. Um, also, Facebook has spent a lot of time over the last couple of years of how to monetize their offering. And so you're starting to see a lot more of a, um, a commercial side to how Facebook is working in terms of sponsored videos. So th there's a downside to that in terms of it's creating an awful lot of noise on the web, but equally as a plus side because you can buy into some of that and hopefully boost your business through using some great sort of Facebook marketing strategies which are available to you now. So just to summarize those key points, um, first of all, like think about what your Facebook, your, your strategy for using Facebook is going to be. Um, look at the difference between, look, look at how, how well your posts are reaching your audience. Um, and I talked about the benefits, the upsides and the downsides to using Facebook. Um, and it may or may not be right for every single business. Um, a lot of business owners still think that it's, it's um, a common misnomer is, is really businesses think that they're going to see no benefit to having Facebook. Well, if you could look out on the street and if you know that your perfect customer is a 45 year old woman who is well dressed, drives a Range Rover, shops at Harvey Nichols, um, you know, that's gold dust because you can generally look out on the street and see that person get out of their Range Rover, they're really smartly dressed and they walk into Harvey Nichols. Facebook gives you access to all of that demographic information. So why would you not buy into it? And equally on the business to business side of things, you know that the perfect person um, to target from a B2B perspective is that um, the CEO of a company turning over 100 million pounds or more with 200 employees, etc. You can also start to pull out some of that information using the demographics and, and understand where they hang, hang out. So I hope you found that useful. That's my take on uh, Facebook for small businesses, medium-sized businesses, all sorts of different sized businesses. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to more videos. Um, uh, and if you've got any questions about uh, my opinions on Facebook, then please do leave it on the uh, in the comments boxes below.